Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of my Sims 4 uh, Cursed Witch Legacy Challenge. We are on Generation 1, the restoration generation where we are trying to restore our home. Today's episode should be fairly exciting because we have little Miss Belinda who is actually going to be aging up this episode. As part of the curse, we have a short lifespan and every time we are able to remove part of the curse, I spin a wheel um, to see what we are able to remove and unfortunately the short lifespan has not been something we have been yet to be able to remove so she is aging ridiculously fast um, but today's her birthday so that's kind of exciting I don't think we have the ingredients to make her cake so she might not have a great birthday but I guess maybe that's part of the curse I don't know um, Yoltik is in the kitchen or he was in the kitchen he had just made some food. Um, I would like him to try to focus on his needs a little bit. We're going to fertilize the bush. I have little Ophelia running a guard sale to try to a yard sale to try to get enough money to hopefully pay the bills. Um, before we get into the rest of the episode, I just want to briefly say thank you so much for um, watching my videos. Um, so many of you have been enjoying this series and I am so sorry for such a large gap between the last episode. It's been almost a month. I have had COVID, but if I'm being honest, the main reason that I struggle with being consistent with my uploads just happens to be mental health. I don't want to get too into details just because I like my channel to kind of be an escape from all of that, but um, I am getting help. I'm going to start going to therapy and yeah, but to all of you who leave me comments and stuff, I really appreciate you and thank you. And again, I apologize for the long gaps between videos. I will try to be more consistent as always. Turn the table. Okay, there we go. We made some sales. Um, if you didn't notice, we did go back in time slightly. I think because of the save issue that I had last time during the fire, um, it didn't save properly. So the nice thing is we are not in labor yet, um, but we should hopefully give birth this episode. Um, do we have enough money to pay our bills now? Let's see. We only need 500 more simoleons, so let's see if we can finish out these yard sales. You're too uncomfortable. Okay, well, you know what? You're in a good mood. Can you please tend the table? And what do you need? You need to go eat? Okay, come in here. Yultik just made some soup. I'm going to have you go ahead and grab a serving. We also have the um, spooky rewards going on for the Grim Reaper pack. Um, I don't know if I'm going to focus on them in this episode. I'll probably do those off camera. Do we need to start a new yard sale? Yes, we do. Um, tend the table. Okay, Ophelia, did you eat? You did. You need to pee. Go ahead and fertilize. And then why don't you head to bed when you're done? Um, little baby Belinda, um... You could probably also use some food, so I'm gonna drag out this for you and you can go ahead and grab a serving and then we'll put the extras back in the fridge. You'll take, you, you're supposed to be helping us. Can you, you're too tense, okay. All right, so I gave in and I got Yoltik a bed. So this is Yoltik's bed, this is Ophelia's bed, and then because she's supposed to be aging up this episode, this is gonna be Belinda's bed. There is enough space for them to get um, into each of the beds, even though there's not like a full square on the grid there. Um, and we currently have little Belinda naked out here sleeping on the log until she ages up. Uh, so hopefully she doesn't get taken away, but if I hit, the um, play button, we are currently experiencing another natural disaster. <laughs> um, I think it might have just been an earthquake, though, because I don't see any droppings from a volcano, so that's good. I am going to let everybody sleep. Um, Belinda on the log and her parents 
in the bed. I think they just got woken up by the earthquake. Um, and I will jump to as soon as somebody is waking up. All right, you guys, it is the next day. Uh, Yoltik and Ophelia just got up out of bed, had some leftover soup, and now I have Yoltik coming and doing the yard work since Ophelia is pregnant. So he is doing all the repetitive stuff that earns us money, like, you know, uh, getting this prairie grass. And Ophelia was just getting the mail. Um, and then she just used the bush to go to the bathroom real quick. She needs to have some fun. So let's come watch the birds for some fun. And then maybe we can either do the yard sale or tend to our garden. We still got little Belinda sleeping on the log. This poor, poor, poor baby. Um, but her needs aren't that bad. We might just age her up when she wakes up. Okay, Yoltik, did you find anything good? You found a wine bottle for $55, prairie grass for $48, uh, a spotted eggplant frog. We should probably breed this with the one we have. Let's go ahead and do that. What did we get? We got a $30 one. Okay. We'll sell the $10 one. Um... He got a glow orb and manure, and I'm not going to sell these because these came with him when he moved in with us, so I feel like that's cheaty. Okay, did you get your fun up at all, or did you just ignore me? You just ignored me, huh? Okay, keep working on your fun, please. What else did you get? You got more prairie grass and manure and a gardening book okay please leave the mirror alone and come finish harvesting please and thank you you know what she needs to have fun too why don't you see if you can have fun with her and then age her up maybe um where is she come hi ophelia um no. Nikki's here to visit. A lot is happening. Toddler care. Why don't you... Can we just age you up? I don't think we can. And I don't know where Nikki went, but... Okay. Oh, she went to say hi to Yoltik. Okay. Hi, Nikki. And again, I think I have free love or something on with my neighborhood because this just happens way too much. All of my sims are in love with each other. Well, I will drag out some food for her because I'm sure she's hungry. Um, I don't really want to make anything, so I think she's just going to be eating some milk bread. Um, go ahead and eat that little Belinda and hopefully you age up soon. Um, Ophelia, I really need you to do something productive. Can you come watch the birds so that you can get enough fun that I can actually make you do something? Or you need to eat too because the baby's making you hungry again. You guys can go ahead and eat bread together. There you go. I'll put the leftovers back in the fridge. Um, he is obsessed with this mirror. Which is fine, I guess, because he has to do stuff in the mirror for his career, but it's kind of annoying because I need him to help us out around the house. Can you please come collect the eggs? All right, did you guys eat, Belinda? I really need you to age up so you can take care of yourself. You need to have fun and play with your little toy. Um, is this trash? Okay, you still have some food left in there. Is it spoiled? Yes. Okay. Oh, goodness. All right. Just play with your toy. Mom, you need to come have fun. Come watch the birds, please. Or maybe come talk to Nikki. Maybe you and Nikki can have fun. Why don't you make silly faces with Nikki? Um, why don't you ask Nikki about Ambrosia? I feel like she would be an expert. Um, and we can tell a funny story. Did you collect the eggs like I told you to a hundred times? You did not. He is obsessed with this mirror and I don't understand. Can you please come here? 
I have to watch him like a hawk. You know what? You have to pee so bad. Come pee. It's because he can't get to it. Okay, but this should be unlocked. Another earthquake? Or is this a volcano? It's a volcano. Okay. Well, at least that gives us stuff to sell in the yard sales. <laughs> oh my goodness, this place is so forbidden. All right. Did you get your fun up enough? You did. Thank you, Nikki, for being of, of, of assistance. Um, I would really like it. You're still too tense because you need hygiene. Well, that's just not fair. That's just not fair. Oh my goodness. Her needs are almost perfect. Somebody made soup again. Was it Yultik? I don't even know. Why don't you grab another serving because this baby is making you starve and we need to take care of your needs. Yultik, I really need your help. We, we Things are falling to pieces. I think we just have to wait for her to age up on her own because we don't have a cake. And I will put the floating cake, the floating soup back. And Nikki is flirting with us. Okay. Um, how about we not? How about we... Um, everybody's in a terrible mood, so nobody can start the yard sale. All right. I don't know why this was locked. Come in here. And collect the chickens. It's slightly dirty. We can go ahead and um, clean the coop. Did we get any hatchables yet? Still no hatchable. This makes me so sad, but at least that's four fifty. So now we're nearly able to pay our bills. Um, I think we need yet another trash can because we are at the point of nearly having a landfill. At this point, I really should just get us a, um, a dumpster probably, but I digress. We'll have another trash can for now. Uh, you'll take, can you break this open, please? Break that open. And then you can come break this one open. Was there any others? There was this one. Or did I click on that one already? I think I clicked on, there was this one and this one and this one. Okay. We have yet another visitor. Are you in a good enough mood yet? She needs attention so bad. And her hygiene and everything. I just need her to age up so she can take care of herself. Okay, Yoltik found a few new things that we can put into our table to sell. Mostly more crystals. And a few fossils. And a geode. Um, so let's go ahead and polish this and then we can add that in and we can go ahead and extract this and we'll put, we finished a crystal collection. Is that what it's telling me? Just from all of the explosions we've had, we finished, what collection did we possibly, oh, we finished the geode collection. Okay, well that makes sense because we literally have them growing on our lot over here. Is there anything I can do to make it so you guys will work with me? I can't do anything when they're tense. Okay, this is like reminding me <laughs> of the asylum challenge when I couldn't do anything. I'm going to have them both cloud gaze because that usually makes their needs somewhat better. How did you get out? Because I unlocked the gate? You're escaping too? Whatever. Don't get eaten by foxes. That, that's probably exactly what's going to freaking happen with my luck. I had to unlock the gate because Yultik wouldn't run back there. Maybe because they are evil chickens, the foxes will be scared of them. I don't even know. Can you come play with the chicken? Because that would be so adorable. Um, why don't you hug Elvira? Us, actually, why don't we put some clothes on you? Maybe? 
No? You want to run around naked? Okay. Did anybody's moods get good enough to actually be able to do stuff? No. You are still very tense. Um, and you're not even in your third trimester yet. That's freaking great. Um, I kind of want to cheat it and force her to go into labor because she was in labor in the last episode. So I don't know why she's not in this episode, but whatever. Oh, he wouldn't give us a huggy. Oh, she's aging up. Yes. Oh my goodness, this is such a relief to not have to worry about a baby anymore, even though we have another baby on the way. Okay. Um, Belinda ages up. Uh, she is going to grow up to be somebody who communicates with the dead. So I do think she should have the social one. Um, and because it's cursed, we are going with the fact that they all kind of have a negative trait. So I kind of want to pick out a negative trait for her. Um, I feel like I kind of want her to be gloomy. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Look at her curls and she's still naked. Okay, um, let's hop into create a sim real quick and give our girl a quick little makeover. She looks so cute. Does she have like a little teeth gap? Okay, everyone. So this is Belinda's makeover. Um, I think her hair texture might be slightly different, but I tried to stick with what she was born with and I feel like she is so adorable. She aged up with a little tooth gap. I love her curls. This hair came with the crystal um, pack and I feel like she looks like how I would imagine like a little medium or witch to look. She kind of gives me like Esmeralda vibes from um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame and I love her and I gave her a little cat to kind of like hint towards which is having like cats as um their familiars and I just imagine her to really enjoy the color purple um and again because the family doesn't have a lot of money um I did set this outfit for every single uh thing that she has because I feel like it's the only thing um, her family could afford to get her from a thrift shop or something until they can afford more. So yeah, that is Belinda's little age up makeover and I think she is adorable. So excited. Okay, let's return to the game. All right, so unfortunately she did age up very sad, um, because we did not celebrate her birthday, which is understandable. Um, and she just got pecked at. So, um, let's, can she help us? Let's... Are there more eggs to collect? Call chickens in, and then we need to lock the fence so that the foxes don't get them. And then we can't help your hygiene because unfortunately the shower would not work, but we can get you some food and you can go to bed. Are you able to harvest this as a child? You are not. Okay. Yes, he's coming in. So let's go ahead and lock this for all chickens. There we go. And then you really need to get some leftovers and head to bed, little miss. You know what? Everybody just get to bed, please. We can figure out food in the morning because nobody is listening to the commands I am given and I am getting frustrated. Okay, we've. I just breeded the two frogs together and we got another $100 frog. So I'm going to sell this one for $30. And now finally, um, when we breed these two together, we should be able to get 100 simoleons every time, which is amazing. Um, hopefully, when they wake up from their nap, we will be able to get more productive things done. So I will be right back, you guys. Okay, you guys, so they did not make it through the night. There was a loud bang that woke them all up, but they were all hungry, so they all came into the kitchen for a near midnight snack of tomato soup, which is all they seem to exist on. Um, and just because everybody is tense and in really bad moods, Ophelia and Belinda did get into a fight, and they now have a difficult uh, dynamic. If I go ahead and show that off really quickly. 
Yeah. When you are done eating, you should be able to crawl right back in bed. Um, and same with you. Uh, you still don't give birth for another um, seven hours, unfortunately. So I don't know if we're going to have the baby this episode. But you actually woke up inspired since I had you looking at the clouds earlier. So we're going to take advantage of this and I'm going to see if we can start a yard sale. Um, you guys should be heading back to bed. Yeah, you know what? I love that you're trying to bond, um, but you're done eating, so go back to sleep, please. No, you... He And he's instantly uncomfortable again. You saw that. Is it because of the filthy surroundings? Okay, hold on. If I move this out of the way, will that not give you the filthy surroundings? So that you can run this guard's yard sale? Because we need the money, please. Like, your needs are fine. Can you stop being difficult? Uh, I know you're filthy. I can't help that. And I know you have a sore back. But please stop complaining and come here. Yes, there you go. You're, you're inspired again. Please come run the yard sale. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, Alex, your grandbaby. <laughs> okay. Yard sale, please. Stock table. He can't because he's too uncomfortable. Why are you too uncomfortable? What is the dirty surroundings in this area? I don't understand. They're all the way in the backyard. This challenge is so torturous, you guys. You don't even understand. It is so difficult to get anything done because they are always tense, so they refuse to do things. Um, whatever. Go back to sleep, I guess, and then hopefully you'll wake up and be able to do things. Uh, Belinda just woke up. Belinda is seeing a monster under her bed, which actually checks out. I feel like she would um, try to make friends with the monster under the bed because that's going to be like her thing where she becomes friends with otherworldly things and can talk to otherworldly things. So let's try to talk to it, baby. Okay, surely there's enough space for you to talk to the monster under the bed now, right? There you go. Make friends. Play nice. And then, Ophelia, what are you doing? You peed. You're still very tense. Um, this is functional off the grid, so this should have no problem working, right? If we put it here, can she shower? Or is it going to be broken again? Take a shower, please. I don't want to speak too soon because I'm afraid I'm going to jinx it, but I feel like the new update might have actually fixed the shower glitch we were having, which is incredible because now that's one less thing we have to worry about. Okay, did you make friends with the monster under the bed? You will come up again? No. Listen. Do not spray the monster. She needs to make friends with the monster. This is her destiny. She's going to be a child that speaks to the undead and stuff. So I would like her to make friends with the monster. Uh, talk to the monster under the bed. Okay, finally. Okay, your needs are good enough. Can you please come tend the table? And I need you to start a yard sale, please. Start a yard sale. We need money to pay the bills and refurbish the house. Stock the table. Okay, finally. Are you going to take a shower? You are. Okay, Ophelia, I really need you to tend the table so that we can sell stuff. We're working from home today. Tend the table! I'm getting so frustrated and I'm so sorry if it's hard to watch. Okay, we made $2,000, you guys. How did we do that? Where did that come from? Did that come from work? I, I don't even know. I don't know if that where that came from, but we got $2,000. Okay, um, 
for some reason he can't shower you i need you to pay the bills please so that we don't get repoed again just pay the bills um and then we should be going into labor right can you breed this for an extra hundred please thank you it's like i have to watch them both like hawks and neither of them are listening to me you're going to pay the bills did you shower you did finally okay you need to have fun can you watch the birds to get some fun you finally paid the bills okay <sighs> come fertilize the bush and um it looks like he has gotten poisoned by a spider so you guys i genuinely think this house is a widow maker where like it wants to take every single person that ophelia has as a baby daddy or whatnot because we already saved him once and the house just keeps going after him and i don't know what to do can we just have the baby and end the episode please oh it was his job that we got the money from i think okay She's like, I'm so sorry for bringing you into my twisted, cursed life. Huh? Uh, and we have another earthquake. Yep, there's no volcanic eruption, so that was just an earthquake. Maybe we can put um, the shower in between them right here. Poor Ophelia just woke up and she got the notification that um, Yoltik is pretty much on the verge of wanting to break up with her. They have a very unsatisfied relationship um, and he feels like she's being mean probably because she's on edge all the time. Uh, Belinda is also done with school for the day. I don't really know what else we can do. I'm just waiting for her to pop with this pregnancy and it's taking way longer than expected. Um, let's see if we can get away with removing this. Um, are you able to remove this as a kid? I think you are. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try to push. Oof. I'm just going to relocate this stuff we're still gonna have to get rid of it later i just want to push it back enough that we can get rid of these tendrils so i'm gonna have the little girl uh, belinda come get rid of it if she can okay and then you can go fertilize Okay, you know what? I have tried everything I could. I've even pushed stuff back and they still can't remove this. Um, and I don't think it's because they're scared because we're getting the interaction. They just can't reach it. So I'm going to debug delete this so that it's not there anymore. Um, I'm also going to... Um, we're going to create a puddle right here. And I'm going to have Belinda come. Nope. She can't mop it up. I was going to say, okay, we'll pretend that Belinda mopped this up because apparently she's not able to. And we're going to delete this little slime puddle as well um, and pretend that that was mopped up. And then we'll destroy that puddle. There we go. All gone. Oh my goodness, fine. We will move the shower to another room if you're going to be like this. Yeah, we're going to have to move this to the front porch, I think. Otherwise, nobody will ever take a shower because they are um, too embarrassed because people are sleeping in there. And then I really haven't been taking care of the strays like I should be. So I'm just going to sell these food bowls since I'm really not using them. Okay. Did Were you able to shower or no because your daughter walked in on you? No? Okay. Come shower over here on the front porch then. Oh, earlier when I had her um, collect the eggs, she did get a obsidian egg that is non-hatchable. So we're going to go ahead and sell that for 150 
And she also completed a first day of school drawing of a pony, it looks like. So let's go ahead and hang that over our bed right there. Um, she also could use some loving, but I'm going to hopefully have her get some more rest. Go back to sleep, honey. Okay, finish showering. Okay, you guys, I promise I did not check to see if the gender is a girl or a boy or cheat the gender, but I am tired of waiting, so I am going to um, trigger the being in labor. Um, and okay, she's now in labor. Okay, I have been following her around on fast forward waiting for a bassinet to spawn. One finally spawned. Let's see if we're having a girl or a boy. Gildry is coming to witness the baby. And it's a boy! Okay. Not what I was expecting. I was kind of hoping for another girl. Um, okay, so... I did get some boy name suggestions, um, I believe from Nikki. So what we're going to do is she gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine names. Uh, so real quick, let's go ahead and pick a number from one to eight. Okay. And Google pick six. Um, so the sixth name, one, two, three, four, five, six, is Arrow. It's an interesting name for a boy, but I'll take it. We have Arrow Bishop. Okay. Let's go ahead and move him over to our little bedroom area. Um, and yeah, that is our new little family. And unfortunately, um, Actually, not unfortunately for the better. It looks like Yoltik did not succumb to the poison and it looks like he's feeling better, which is great. It looks like we might actually be able to keep our little family for, for the time being. I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully I'll be able to edit it down so it wasn't too long. Thank you guys all for watching and I will see you in the next part where we should be able to do some more renovating because we have 2,000 simoleons um, and we did pay the bills. So that's a thing. All right. I will see you guys soon.